Hi everyone, we are here today to talk about the Bachelor of Science with Honours in Computing Science, a degree jointly offered by SIT and the University of Glasgow. Hi, I am a prof Associate Professor Jeannie Lee and I'm here to talk to you guys today. So what is the Bachelor of Science with Honours in Computing Science degree? So this degree program is a three-year honors degree program, and it is jointly awarded by the SIT and the University of Glasgow, and it has a focus on the Internet of Things. It is generally a broad-based curriculum, and it consists of topics related to IoT, cybersecurity, data analytics, machine learning, and software engineering. Where is it located? The degree program is located within an SIT building within Nanyang Polytechnic. We do have teaching staff from both uh, the university's SIT and the University of Glasgow to help teach topics within the program. Uh, we also have an eight-month IWSP, that is the Integrated Work Study Program. This is an internship where students have the opportunity to work in a company and work on real life, uh, real life software problems. We also have what's called the OIP, the Overseas Immersion Program. This is where you get to spend three weeks in Glasgow, in Scotland, the UK, where you will get to work with other students at the University of Glasgow as well as take subjects taught by professors at the University of Glasgow. The facilities at the building include uh, lecture theatres, uh, multiple labs that I will talk a bit about later today, and uh, the capstone project lab and multiple uh, hardware and IoT labs as well. So how about SIT? So SIT has a pretty short history, but a pretty eventful one. First, we started in uh, 2009, where it was incorporated as an institute of higher learning. And this is to meet the growing demand from polytechnic graduates for a degree education. Finally, in 2014, uh, SIT was uh, was formed as an autonomous university and launched uh, the first few degree programs in 2014. And recently, in 2019, we celebrated 10 years anniversary and our current intake is more than 2,700 students in across 42 programs. So despite our very short history, uh, a lot of students are joining us and we hope you will get a chance to join us too. We do have multiple polytechnics around uh, Singapore and many different degree programs are located in the different buildings within the polytechnics, but primarily our degree program is focused at the SIT NYP building in Ang Mo Kyo. The future campus for SIT is also planned, and this will be located in the northeast part of Singapore uh, in Pongol, and the campus will be co-located with buildings belonging to the Jurong Town Corporation, JTC, which will host many industries and companies related to digital media, cybersecurity, and software development. This is a very good opportunity for both academia and industry to coexist and work together in the same location. I would like to now hand over to Associate Professor Kyo Sai Lung, who will tell us a little bit more about the University of Glasgow. Please. Thank you, Jeannie. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Sai Lung from uh, University of Glasgow. Uh, we are based in Singapore. Uh, I would like to give you a little bit of background about University of Glasgow in Scotland. Right. The university itself is actually established in uh, 1451, and we are one of the uh, top universities in the UK. Uh, according to the university ranking, we are also ranked among the top universities in, in the UK. Um, in terms of the teaching uh, 
experience, right? We are also ranked second in the Russell Group. So Russell Group is actually equivalent to the Ivy League University in the US. Uh, in the past, we've also uh, produced uh, seven Nobel laureates. Uh, we are very concerned and care about your student experience. Uh, we have uh, a lot of students from about 140 countries in the world. Uh, we have about 29,000 students actually studying in the UK itself. Uh, we are also one of the top 30 universities, uh, the most international university in the world according to the Time Tire Education. Okay. Uh, in terms of the ranking across the science and engineering uh, programs, so for example, all the nursing program and computing science, of course, and also the engineering programs are ranked among the top 10 in the UK. Um, according to the uh, graduate employment survey, you know, about 82% of our students actually managed to get a job within six months, so that's pretty impressive. A little bit about the School of Computing itself. Uh, the school is also ranked among the top university in the UK. Uh, for example, we are ranked top in Scotland for research impact, and we are ranked seven in the UK as a, as a computing science uh, program. Uh, it's also very interesting to inform or tell you that you know, we are actually the first university in Scotland to have an electronic computer. Uh, in terms of the staff strength, we have about 40 academic staff, uh, 35 research staff and 100 research students. Uh, we also have uh, many programs in the UK, for example, uh, MSc in Cybersecurity, MSc in Artificial Intelligence, um, as one of the offering in the UK. Um, this is uh, pictures of our students, Singaporean students, who actually spend three or four weeks in the UK, Scotland, uh, to do an uh, overseas immersion program. Okay? Uh, so they actually manage to they, they work with the staff in the UK and also students in the UK on specific projects, and they also visited certain IT enterprises in the Scotland, and this also gives our students a bit of exposure of the IT industry in, in the UK itself. Um, so if you join our program, uh, you know, you'll get a chance to spend three weeks uh, over the summer in the UK uh, and work on uh, some uh, design project together with our mechanical students and also uh, some nursing students together in Scotland. The city of Glasgow itself is also very fascinating. So it's one of the uh, most popular shopping uh, area uh, outside London itself. Uh, there are also a lot of museums and uh, botanical gardens that you can spend your time. And I think it will be a good exposure for our Singaporean students to spend uh, time in the UK and you know, experiencing the UK cities and also the people in the UK. Uh, I'll now hand over back to uh, Jeannie to talk to, about the uh, curriculum of the degree program. Thank you, Sailung. So let me uh, take the opportunity to talk a little about the curriculum for the computing science degree. So in the first year, uh, you will be focusing on the basic fundamental computer science topics. Then we will start to build upon this foundation. So examples of uh, these foundational topics could be the introduction, learning how to program in programming methodology, learning about the hardware and what goes inside the computer. That will be computer organization how to write data structures that will be in data structures and algorithm and object-oriented programming, and learning about operating systems that is the software that controls the hardware, as well as computer networking, how to interconnect the computers together. Then we have a one trimester, a short break. We will continue in the second year with uh, topics that will build upon this foundational knowledge in the first year. Uh, topics uh, for year two include things like embedded systems and sensor programming, uh, cybersecurity fundamentals, human and computer interaction, as well as mobile application development and databases. So these topics build upon the foundations and you will learn additional information about how to program mobile applications, how to better design computer interfaces, as well as advanced programming of computer hardware. A unique thing about the second year is that we have the team project and professional software development, otherwise known as PSD, which is a year-long team programming project where students get to work 
on a real life uh, problem that could be provided by a company and apply software management as well as agile techniques to develop the software. Finally, in the last uh, trimester of the second year, we will get to study a few more advanced topics such as cloud and distributed computing, data analytics and safety critical systems which might be delivered by professors from the University of Glasgow and you will finally embark on the overseas immersion program where you get to spend three weeks in the University of Glasgow in Scotland to interact and do projects with students at the University of Glasgow and also be taught classes by professors from the University of Glasgow. In the third year, students will embark on the IWSP, that is the eight month long internship program. This will spend two trimesters as well as work on a capstone project. So each student will get to be doing an internship with the company on a real life software problem and contribute to the company's efforts in developing a software, for example. And this could also be combined into a capstone project, which is similar to a final year project, where you will develop this uh, with either a software engineering or a research focus. At the end of the third year, you will round up by taking advanced topics in the third year that will also be related to our Internet of Things theme. This includes topics like IoT in smart nations, information visualization, and machine learning. So these topics uh, basically are advanced operations upon the data that is collected by multiple IoT devices that are embedded or located around the world today. And you will also round out by finishing the capstone project and presenting the results of the project that was done during the internship itself. More about the integrated work study program. As mentioned before, this is a eight month long internship program with a company. We do have a lot of good and well-known companies that have been lined up with uh, job roles for students to do internships with. Examples will be Singtel and JTC and Accenture, as well as the CSA, which specialize in cybersecurity. And there will be many more other companies that will be joining us to offer roles to students as well. So what are the career prospects? when a student graduates. It is very good, even during this time, and a lot of roles will involve things like uh, wearables, social media, e-commerce, software development, and the Internet of Things. Singapore expects to produce an additional 15,000 jobs every year, and these will be also in the areas of network and infrastructure, security, software development as well. So the table on the right uh, shows the ballpark figure for a lot of the common roles that uh, students could uh, be employed in when they graduate as fresh graduates. And as you can see here, the ballpark salary is pretty good. Uh, how about our teaching resources? So here are a couple of pictures of our networking uh, lab, our information security lab, as well as our embedded lab and the 3D printer lab. So a lot of these labs, I, they're pretty fully stocked and we do have a lot of hardware and I'm very sure that you will be happy hanging out in these labs. So to find out more information, please go uh, scan the QR code and find out more information about our degree program and I hope to talk to one of you guys in person very soon. Thank you very much.